In this video, we'll interpret the meaning of points in some contextual problems, and then we'll also find some points and interpret their meaning in contextual problems. In the first problem, we're given a formula, d equals negative 16t squared plus 300t plus 85, and we're told in the problem that d stands for the height of an object in feet, t is the number of seconds that have passed. First, we want to interpret this point, 0, 85. Notice that in this point, we're looking at the y-intercept, the vertical intercept on the graph. If we went over 0, up 85, we'd be right on the y-axis. Now, in the problem, I see that the formula inputs t values, and it outputs d values. So in this point, the input is 0, the input is a t value, the output is a d value. So now we know that this point represents 0 seconds, because 0 was a t value, and it means 85 feet high, because the 85 is an output d value. Now, I'll write a complete sentence that puts those two values together. This point is telling us that after 0 seconds, the object is 85 feet high. The second point that we're given is 9.375 comma 1491.25. Again, I first want to sort out which one is input, which one is output, and what do the input and output represent? This formula inputs t, so the t is 9.375, and it outputs d, so the d is 1491.25. So it must mean 9.375 seconds, and it must mean 1491.25 feet high. So again, this point is telling us that after 9.375 seconds, the object's 1,491.25 feet high. Lastly, we're given the point 19.03, 0. Now notice the output value is 0. So on the graph, the height of the graph is 0. That would put this point right on the x-axis. This is the x-intercept of the graph. Again, I sort out input and output. The inputs are t's. The outputs are d's. So this is 19.03 seconds, and this is 0 feet high. This is telling us that at 19.03 seconds, the object is 0 feet high. The object has hit the ground. In the next problem, we're told that the company Acme makes rubber ducks and rubber bracelets. Acme spends $1.25 on rubber for each rubber duck that it makes. They spend $0.10 cents on rubber for each bracelet that they make. They're only allowed to spend $10,000 on rubber each month. Therefore, we have this equation relating the number of ducks x and the number of bracelets y that the Acme can make. They spend a dollar twenty-five per brace, excuse me, dollar twenty-five per duck times the number of ducks x plus ten cents per bracelet times the number of bracelets y. And that all adds up to a total of $10,000 that they can spend. So this is the equation we're going to work with. The first question, we're given that x equals 5,000. We want to complete this point. We know an x value. That means we need to find the y value, and then we'll interpret the practical meaning of that point in the context of this problem. So, first of all, we were told that x stands for the number of ducks that they make. So, since x is 5,000, this stands for 5,000 ducks produced. We have a formula relating x and y. In the formula, I replace x with 5,000. So, we know that 1.25 times 5,000 plus 0.1y equals 10,000. 
1.25 times 5,000 is 6,250. So now the equation is 6,250 plus 0.1y equals 10,000. We subtract 6,250 on both sides. And now we have 0.1y equals 3750. I divide both sides by 0.1 and so y equals 37500. Again, x stands for the number of ducks. We knew it was 5000 ducks. y stands for the number of bracelets. So now we know if they make 5000 ducks then they can make 37,500 bracelets. In number two, we're told that x equals zero. Again, x stands for the number of ducks. So we're told they're making no ducks at the Acme factory. And we're wondering how many bracelets can they make? Again, we go back to our formula and we're gonna let x be zero in the formula. So we have 1.25 times 0 plus 0.1y equals 10,000. That is 0 plus 0.1y equals 10,000 or just 0.1y equals 10,000. Dividing both sides by 0.1 we have y equals 100,000. x is the number of ducks, y is the number of bracelets, so now we know if they make no ducks at the factory, that allows them to make 100,000 bracelets at the factory. And lastly, this time we're told that y equals 0, and we want to find the ordered pair that completes that. Again, y stands for the number of bracelets. So this time we're told that they make zero bracelets. They make no bracelets at the Acme factory. And we want to find the number of ducks. So again, I plug y equals zero into the formula. So I have 1.25x plus 0.1 times zero equals 10,000. That is 1.25x plus zero equals 10,000. 1.25x equals 10,000. Dividing both sides by 1.25. x equals 8,000. y is the number of bracelets. x is the number of ducks. So this tells us when Acme makes zero bracelets, they're able to make 8,000 ducks.